Simple Makeup Geeks. It is flower inspired week and I'm here at the Bloom Decor European Floral Design Shop here in Sacramento and I'm doing a gorgeous orchid look today. This is one of my favorites. It's bright and really dramatic and colorful but I really like it and I hope you guys enjoy. So our first step to this look is to prime the lids. I'm going to use the Tarte Lifted Eye Primer today just because it's nice and smooth and it's made from natural ingredients. I'm going to apply that all over the lid and then blend it all the way up to the brow bone. The next step is to take a flat stiff brush like this one. I'm going to go in with a light pink color in this 120 palette. I'm using the one right here in the middle. I'm just going to take a bit of that, put it right here on the inner part of the eye and we're going to blend it up like this and inwards just a bit on the lid. Then take a stiff dome brush like this one in a darker pink color and I'm going to use the one here on the end right here. We're going to apply this just in the outer groove of the eye. Let's pull on this just a bit, put it right out here. We're going to come up here right in the crease and blend it out. Then go back in with the flat stiff brush. I'm going to take a yellow color and I'm going to use this brighter one right here and just pat this on the center of the lid. For some added dimension out here, I'm going to take the Mug Outer V brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush, a little bit bigger. I'm going to go in with this really dark gray color right here. Don't pick up too much color because you just want a little accent of darkness. I'm going to create a line like this and then come up here in the crease just a little bit, wipe off the brush and we're just going to blend it out. Then go back in, same brush with that pink color again. We're going to go on top of it just to kind of soften that black line. Then take a white eyeliner. We're going to line the waterline with it. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of this right here near the tear duct just to brighten it up and give the glitter something to adhere to. Now for the glitter I'm going to use Max Reflex Pearl which is a gorgeous really tiny um, glitter. I'm going to take a flat stiff brush and just pat this right on there and then start sweeping it up just a little bit to really brighten the eyes. Then the final bit of eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in with that small pencil brush and a brown eyeshadow. This is optional. I just want a little bit of something out here under the lower lash line. So I'm just going to smudgy, smudge, smudge right under here and stop about halfway. Then all we have to do, this is optional too, is to apply some false lashes. And I'm going to use the Demi Wispies today because they're really flirty and they just add a nice pop to this look. For the cheeks and lips, I'm going to keep it super easy. I'm just going to apply a bit of bronzer. I'm using the MAC 109 brush, which is kind of a like rounded shape brush. I'm going to use something that's two shades darker than my skin. For me, it's the Sephora Sculpting Disc, just because I'm more fair. But I'm going to apply this just under the apples of the cheeks and blend it up here along the temples, and just a little bit along the actual cheek. Then the final step is just the lips. I'm going to use NYX's Circe Lipstick. Just apply a bit of that to kind of mute out the color of the lips. So apply that. And then to give it a soft pink touch, I'm going to use NYX's Beautiful Lip Gloss, which is a really pretty pink color. And just layer that right on top for some glossy, sexy lips. So that completes our beautiful flower inspired look. I hope you guys had fun with that. I think this is, you know, it's more dramatic, but it's something really fun you can wear to like a luau or a party out or even a night out in the town. So go to makeupgeek.com. I'll have everything listed for you guys. And be happy and healthy as always. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.